Now we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may know the things that are freely given to us by God. The first epistle to the Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Dear brothers and sisters, have you received the Spirit which is of God, wrought by the Holy Spirit in your soul? The necessity of the work of the Holy Spirit in the heart may be clearly seen from this fact, that all which has been done by the Lord God the Father and by the Lord God the Son must be ineffectual in us, unless the Spirit reveal these things to our souls. What effect does the doctrine of election have upon any man until the Spirit of God enters into him? Election is a dead letter in my consciousness until the Spirit of God calls me out of darkness into marvellous light. Then through my calling I see my election, and knowing myself to be called of God, I know myself to have been chosen to the eternal purpose. A covenant was made with the Lord Jesus Christ by his Father. But what avails that comfort covenant to us until the Holy Spirit brings us blessings, opening our hearts to receive them? There hang the blessings on the nail, Jesus Christ, but being short of stature, we cannot reach them. The Spirit of God takes them down and passes them to us and so they become ours by possession. Covenant blessings in themselves are like the manna in the skies, far out of mortal reach, but the Spirit of God opens the windows of heaven and scatters the living bread around the camp of the spiritual Israel. Christ's finished work is like wine stored in the wine vat. Through unbelief we can neither draw nor drink. The Holy Spirit dips our vessel into the precious wine, and so we can drink. But without the Spirit we are as truly dead in sin as though the Father had never elected, as though the Son had never bought us with his blood. The Holy Spirit is absolutely essential to our well-being, and so let us walk lovingly toward him and tremble at the thought of grieving him. Amen.